Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome back to Empire's SMB, where today we're venturing out of the cavern to build a massive gunpowder factory. So it's time for things to get a little wonky, so please leave a like and subscribe. I have new merch! Bring home your own limited edition Goblin Flip from the Empire's SMB series. And check out the makeship link in the description to learn more. Goblin Flip comes with a bonk stick to help keep you safe, so order yours before it's gone forever. Last episode, we finished the creeper farm and started digging out to expand the storage room when we found these little bat creatures hidden deep underground. Lizzie is going to work on finding a new home for those bats in Animalia while I do what I do best. Make technical looking stuff that does absolutely nothing. I mean, like, look at Gobland. Most of this stuff looks super techy, but does literally nothing. My favorite type of redstone. My job is to decorate the entire space above the creeper farm. So the first step here is going to be to clear out all of the birch trees and reveal the land below that I have to build with. This looks like a pretty good amount of space here, but before we build, I want to make this look industrially wonky. And I think I need some blackstone to do it. This was actually a really good amount of birch wood. Storage is looking good, but back to the task at hand. I want to create some piglin bartering stations on the nether roof which are going to require some glass, a few chests, plus some hoppers, droppers, and that's about it. Well, outside of name tags, but I don't have any library and villagers. I do know where to find some though. First, a quick stop to trade some pork for emeralds to be able to buy the name tags. And that's more than I need. I need name tags and you have pandas. <gasps> oh, the villagers sell name tags? Hmm, let's see. It's probably going to be the diamond guy that sells it, right? Yes. Oh, here's a diamond guy. 20 emeralds. Okay, it's that guy in there. Oh, hi, buddy. Fantastic. All right, thank you. Back in the gobland we go. The extra emeralds I have can just go over here into the shiny shop where I've just been informed we have not made a single sale. One day, one day we'll make a sale. Anything? No. It's all still here. This is going to be a pretty simple setup, so I think I can just literally put it right behind where my portal goes, and we can stack up quite a few chests with hoppers. And I'm going to be creating six different stalls for piglins, who are all going to be sitting right on top of the orange carpet. Next step is surrounding all of these with a bunch of glass so that the piglins won't be able to get out, and then we have to figure out a way to actually get some piglins inside of here. For that, I'm thinking out the back here, I can just create a large platform out of netherrack and really just hope that we get some piglins to spawn in. And that's all I got. Next, if we get ourselves a few trap doors and some random dummy blocks, we can add trap doors to the top of the second block here, and then I can run underneath the, but the piglins won't be able to follow. To help make it a touch easier though, let's run over to Joel's gold farm and just borrow a few gold ingots. Now maybe potentially somewhere I can get a few mobs to spawn in on top of this platform. Nope, they're on the wrong side of the platform. They are on the wrong side of the platform. Excuse me, you're supposed to be in the pork farm across the way. Thank you. I know you get a little confused. We have pigs. Hello, sir. Please come in here. Thank you drop into the hole welcome to your rest of your life no 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 okay yep we're gonna find a different friend not this different friend not this different friend but first guy's locked in just gotta do this five more times i see my next victim come here welcome he's now locked in place okay here we go we've got so many pigs over here actually i don't really want you guys but that's fine can you just come over here please thank you number three's in number four number five and an advancement and which of you would like to be number six you do wow look at you and he's it with all the dudes in place we can actually get rid of everybody else stupid child get back here no, he has kidding me. Ha ha. And get rid of the platform of death. Now, on top of all of these little soul sand blocks that we have, I need to place the redstone torches with pressure plates on top. Droppers to drop the gold. And we can box that in. With the final step of adding a tiny bit of gold storage. Now, for the next step, I do need a lot of gold for this thing to get kicked off. So we are here at Joel's gold farm to AFK a little while. Volume off, and I'm just going to let the piggies do their thing. About 20 minutes later, and I've got a good amount of gold in here that we can throw inside. Pressing the button should kickstart the entire thing. And it looks like we're working. Well, that's working and running through all of that gold. I might as well AFK at the Hogland farm a little while longer. Looks like all the gold is now traded away. And how much blackstone do we have in here? A little over eight stacks. Honestly, not half bad. Thank you, my piggy friends. We'll put all this stuff to good use soon. But for now, it can go here. That's a good spot. Yep, I'll remember that chest. Definitely, for sure. Next up, we can take a bunch of acacia logs, turn those into trap doors. I'm going to need to figure out a way to get the gunpowder from all the way down here 
up to the top of the world. And I think what we can do is get rid of this, which I'll clean up with some glass later. But for now, let's go for function. We put a pack dice here. Some scaffolding I learned from Tango allows the items to still go through. And then here we can soul sand all the way up, which is also going to need scaffolding right there. But for now, the hopper is just going to catch it all. If I did my math correctly, we should be popping up somewhere right about here. Yep, we are. Now on top, I want to have an exposed pipe that's going to be moving all the items in the middle of it. I want it coming slightly above the tree line so Lizzie can see it. And then we're going to jut off over here to this point, And then we're actually going to go up again. Then the items should be able to travel along here where I actually want them to spit out. And I need to build the rest of this before I see where they're going to land. I think we'll bring the base up to probably about here as I want to create some sort of extraction device. But first, the functional side. Where I need to take acacia trapdoors all the way up. Stare at the top to transition to the next pipe. And this is a lot of trapdoors. Wow. But at this point, we can replace the netherrack that I put in there with a piece of ice. I probably could have built the whole thing out of ice to save a little bit of time, but it's okay. But now I can just dig myself all the way back down to the soul sand and hopefully not drown. These ears are not made for swimming underwater. Oh, well, I kind of messed that up. Ah, it's fine. That does look pretty cool though. Now we come to the bottom where, oh wow, gunpowder is making it through. Okay, problems, maybe, I don't know. We might lose a little gunpowder on this, but for now we just go up, hopefully up very quickly. Okay, woohoo, we made it. Where now comes to the gunpowder jump onto the next pipe, which is gonna go into a factory building to eventually get over to Animalia, where it looks like, now, Lizzie's actually working on the factory itself. Now I've asked Pix to come over because I can't see the gunpowder moving up and I need to see where it lands and he should be flying in shortly. There he is, look at him. Hello, sir, I need your help. I'm working on a little wonky contraption and I need somebody okay. to input some items for me so I can see where they fly, if that okay. makes sense. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, sure, sure. All right, come this way. In typical goblin fashion, I want to make the gunpowder jump. Oh, fun. Okay, that works. I'll go down and check it out. I'll throw some in and uh, you can just see where it lands up there. I'll, I'll be real quick. Okay. No, it's still dropping. Okay, you know what? Back to the goblin engineering desk. Sounds good. Glad I could help. Yeah, thank you. I think I've got a working system now here. I've tweaked it a little bit and let's test it before I show it off. So if we throw some gunpowder in here, it goes up and is hitting the edge of the trap door. Really? Really game? Barely making it, not even making it. Okay, let's just bring it one block closer. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Don't, not, not in the hole, not in the hole. To make sure it doesn't actually clip and hit the edge there, I think I can come in and since this is a source block, we can add another trap door and that should prevent the items from being exactly along the edge. Quick little take two and they're all making it, perfect. I'm extending it a little further and the first shipment of gunpowder is coming through right now. Wait, this is so cool. Okay. I actually, I need, oh, I need a place to store it. Oh, oh no, all this gunpowder is gonna despawn. Look at it though, it's still going. Right, I think our storage location is gonna be somewhere around here just because I don't have to take it any further. And we'll just start letting it fill in a hopper. <laughs> oh, it's already full. All right, I think the plan here is gonna be before we ship things off to Animalia, I wanna create a few chests that are just gonna be bulk storage. So I think if we fill up two double chests to keep a little gunpowder over here to be used, and then this hopper line is gonna go into a minecart loader uh, somewhere over here after we get the structure in, which is gonna send it Animalia. But at least now we're not wasting any gunpowder. With the first segment completed, I moved on to building the rest of the gunpowder pipeline. Okay, I've got a ton of blocks together over here that we can use to build up a little machine and a platform to build it on. So let's start over here with a little bit of andesite and a blast furnace. My machines might not be technical, but I want them to look technical. Moving into some aged copper, stacking all the way up here. In the middle, I want some lava to look like this whole thing is on fire and you know working and we work ourselves up even further into the top with just a bunch more of the cut copper to probably about this tall you know what the middle is hollow so let's just come all the way up here and do the lava at this point to get over here though i'm thinking we almost connect this break that and bam perfect on top, I want to bring in a little bit of deep slate connecting in this pipe, bringing it all back together. That is going to be a small smokestack right here. And this should, should, should make it instantly technical. Yeah, perfect. Now we connect out the sides over here with five and five to build another sort of like a small reactor containment thing, like an engine that we can put in a little block of redstone action along here and the same around the back. This way we can throw in a few iron trap doors to really bring on the technical vibes. Yep, that's what iron trap doors do. Mm -hmm. Getting super technical here with levers that are activated for super technical reasons, very much so. Yep, 
looking technical. All right, I've got a pipe coming over here out of a bunch of acacia log. And I think we can connect that down to what? Like right here with another blast furnace in front. I built this one inside it already in front of the cobblestone factory. And I really love the blue fire in there. So we can do that again and just top this all off with a bunch of... Nope. Stairs. It does need an exhaust though, so maybe we make even more technical. Yeah, very technical. Wow, right here. So technical. And perfect. It is a little empty back here though. Accidentally unwax some of my copper so we can fix that. And I've got a few extra gear wheels in around here that have just been taking some thinking. But I've had enough thinking of technical things for now. If we surround all of this, where do you guys keep coming from? No, the cave's mine, so don't go back in there. Just go away. But now the gunpowder extraction system is pretty ready to go. I like it. We'll finish at the base of this soon, but for now I want to focus on the warehouse we're going to be storing all the gunpowder. For the warehouse, we're just going to kind of wing it on this one. So let's get a bunch of bricks here and just start laying out a foundation. The back wall is probably going to come right about here so that the items can come inside. But this section could be like a bigger, taller tower. And we can load the minecart in here. I guess it needs to go that way. We'll figure it out. The minecart's going to load here. How do I... I miscounted everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, it needs to go over here. I think I'm getting somewhere. We're going to have like the back loading station in here, which the minecart's going to actually come out this direction off of here. We'll have a little rail in front. This will be like a back factory room. And then I think another room is gonna be about here that will be hanging out over the railroad that'll come right through there and then we can have a little tower for like a goblin overseer to sit in with the base sorted out i started to stack up some pillars to see what the height might look like for the building itself it really doesn't help much that it's floating currently so let's add a few torches down here underneath and probably in the pit quick check from animalia to make sure this thing isn't too tall that i think is actually gonna work out really well definitely needs a lot of love though before we get back to the main structure itself i'm gonna need a lot of dirt that's a lot of dirt my goal is to keep the mountain terrain and just build the land up to match the structures i want to add in while still making it pretty rough to walk around on where i think this is definitely suitable here for minecart rail transportation for another track running alongside that one and i'm thinking a small little mountain river creek something or another coming down through here this is going to be a big build so i jumped into my storage room where i think i might have a problem with hoarding materials on the server as I was able to get pretty much everything together I'm gonna need for the build. Except flowering azalea leaves. So I stopped by Shelby's base while she was online and she gave me just a few of them. And here is everything I'm gonna be needing for the build, which is a lot of random little things. Probably gonna be the best to work from the bottom going up to the top of the building. So for this tower, I wanna actually replace all of the brick I put down and create this out of dripstone blocks. Where from here, I wanna move into some jungle planks and strip jungle log to about this height. For the top, we can bring in some birch for the wall some spruce supports and then using mangrove planks for the roof itself now this is meant to look more mechanical than just a watchtower so i'm thinking we bring in a little bit of spruce buttons on the end and then we can create a bit of a mechanical looking belt out of birch trap doors just going all the way around like that now for a little extra lighting over here we can grab some levers and use some frog lights for like a spotlight and then a little extra detail using the oak signs speaking of detail i want to work on the water wheel next right through here i don't have a whole lot of space so we're just gonna make a little guy little like this to cap off the dripstone we can put a little bit of our copper in here and then for this side to connect it back into the built out building let's surround it with some deep slate and make it look like the piping is going around to the building distributing the power and this one is starting to look pretty goblinified moving over to the big connecting tower i want to tear out most of the brick For this one, let's grab some granite, brown mushroom block, and our bricks. To round off the corners a touch, I want to bring some walls in and work our way up into the more brown color at the top. For something a bit more like this, where I'm starting on the window frame here, little like that. Now for a small division moving up, I want to bring in some of the second stage copier, however you say this thing, that's actually going to go all the way around on the three sides that we can see. Because that one, nobody's going to know. They're not going to know. Especially now that the rest of the walls are in place. To finish off the walkway here, I want to bring in a few of our acacia trap 
fence gates, and then mangrove trap doors. Haha, -ha. see, trap doors fit in here somewhere. And then we can inch ourselves up this way to a mangrove door to get inside of the very walled building. Then I want to copy the idea of our other building that we've already made the top of and go with the lighter colored roof theme. Seeing the two builds in over the brick outlines is so, so nice. But this wouldn't be a true goblin factory without massive amounts of smoke billowing into the sky, so I'm adding three smokestacks to the back. This would never come back to harm me or future generations of goblins, right? No, surely not. No, 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 no. Just in case of some mysterious, totally unrelated reason where acid starts raining from the sky, I should probably build an awning. And this right here is much better. That'll keep us safe. Yep definitely safe now for the rest of this guy I want to keep in the base here out of brick but I think moving upwards I'd like most of this building to actually be made out of terracotta just to get a little bit of color variety so with the trim in place we can pretty much just tear out the rest of this a little granite to blend them together where we can fill in the rest of this and oh guys there's a lot of people nope go up the mountain that's great but we can fill in the rest of this here with a bunch of our terracotta. A few jungle trap doors for a window and the usual treatment around. Oh, no. Usual treatment around. Yep, definitely. Frog lights behind for a little bit of extra detail with one little tiny extra bit of detail here. Now the front of the factory is looking pretty good. With the front face completed, the back was quick to stack up some detailing out the brick walls and changing out some for jungle planks and jungle wood to add in some contrast. Moving onto the roofs out of Blackstone to match the factory vibes from Gobland itself. The next task involve adding in the rail out of the factory building actual pathways to walk around instead of the grass blocks and well a creek running down the mountain which honestly sounds like the most fun right now the creek is going to run through here and I kind of want to bring it directly down this way so it's not just a straight line I'm going to kind of bend my way up and just break some dirt and hopefully it all fills in correctly with water there's kind of a little natural overhang right here so maybe I just stop about this section where I've got one bucket and a dream that this doesn't flood everything Thing. it's working it's working somehow it's working somehow that worked pretty perfectly on the first try I'm just gonna leave it like that I think ignore the little battlefield but my plan is gonna be to bring it all the way down here and I spoke with Lizzie about taking it directly through the wheat field and she seemed to be on board with it where we can drop the water down perfectly into the animalian moat oh there's already water These woods are not safe at all. There are so many mobs in here. What might be the easiest is just to work from the Animalia side and fill it in going all the way up. At least stay here. And now we'll work top down. Going right down the back of the water wheel. And I think this right here is going to link it all the way up. Yes, yes it is. The river is complete. Now for the pathways around here, I want to go back to what we used down this lower section of a lot of packed mud. Where I should have some... No. No, we have none. Okay, do we have any mud? We have mud. Oh, we're in business. Because thankfully, just a little while ago, absolutely nowhere, absolutely didn't take it from Hermitopia, I acquired a ton of wheat, which we can use to craft down. Nope, that's hay bales. Which we can use to craft down into packed mud. A few different ways to situate your build into the environment is building some foliage around it so it feels more natural or simply just adding more of a civilization aspect to it. In this case, we're going to add some roads up here and kind of move them all over the place with a few plots of dirt. But this should give the feeling that a lot of goblins and people and whatnot are working in the area. So it's more likely that it's actually been here for a while instead of just a random build on the hill. With the top section flushed out, I started working my way down the hill where we have the extraction point to be able to connect everything we built together which unfortunately is leading to a new terraforming project or I guess one that I still need to complete down here so I've got a hill that I need to fix up real quick now for the final task of actually getting the gunpowder from this place oh there's no floor in there never mind can't go in that way where how much do we actually have now the second double chest is starting to fill which means we're almost 30 percent of the way of needing to transport gunpowder to animalia where i would like to 
keep the rail above ground to avoid any mobs that are pathing at the nighttime because if this minecart gets stopped uh lizzie's not gonna get any gunpowder and that would be an issue it's gonna be a little hard to maneuver around but i ultimately think that's okay as well it's kind of meant to be the purpose of this thing so let's put redstone blocks in every once in a while so we can actually power things and i think we need to start bringing ourselves down and this birch tree has gotta go to where i might be able to snake the minecart just in between some of the trees which could be kind of fun it only needs a one block high space so we can actually really use that to make sure it's close to the ground and also not disrupting the forest as they aren't the prettiest things to look at connected to the ground every once in a while with a few of our fences and breaking away from the full blocks this is an extremely thick birch tree forest there are so many trees in here no wonder there's so many mobs spawning right I spoke with Lizzie and she wants the minecart going somewhere across here so for now I'm just gonna get it close and we'll figure the rest out later but that should connect it all I just need to somehow get rails on top of this entire thing which is gonna be really difficult normally I would be able to just use gravity to bring the minecart down the mountain but this minecart needs to travel back and forth so it needs to go both ways meaning we have to add in power rails the entire way Here we are emerging out of the forest and this should be a lot easier to get these last rails in with a little boost to get right inside excuse me sir uh this actually specifically is not for you uh just so you know it's actually not yours at all thanks goodbye i guess i need torches in here next up we can take a moment to work inside a little ways and finish up the entire transportation system from our end a floor is probably in order inside of this place so it's actually accessible to you know get the gunpowder and then we move into the minecart room that is going to need a lot of love the hopper loading our minecart is going to be coming in directly from here all the way across which means I want a minecart that's going to be sitting right here that will have to go shooting off this direction powered rail right in front of it so it can get a little boost and come to think of it I think it all needs to go down a block I love minecarts take two so right here we're going to be having a comparator looking at that one looking over here which is going to be looking into a composter that from the birch forest hopefully I can fill it all the way up please it's so close <sighs> please yes now this means that this comparator is going to be locked and turned off unless we have a stronger signal strength than that thing which is completely full meaning this guy's going to stay powered so if I put a sticky piston there that will extend and keep the block in place nope 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 I'm busy I'm busy I'm busy get out for a little test let's grab some of the gunpowder and fill the chest full I believe I forgot a very important step no if I take this out still no ah mine cards as usual for me with redstone I was way over complicating it so if we put the last stack in here no it just worked a second ago I swear take I don't even know anymore let's turn that guy on push this back in and now if I fill it yes take a stack out and it locks I put these last two in there it'll fill up and go yes okay that'll work now I'll take the gunfighter back as a side note you might remember last episode I expanded to the city with my new boutique and my first customer came into Gobland Pixarifs was looking to collect some rare goodies on the server wait a second I I recognize this that that is my deep slate emerald ore getting right into the business I cut him a deal that he could have the deep slate emerald ore for half the price as long as he also bought Ren Dog's bits and I now have 17 more blocks of raw gold which can go right in the vault I think we're more than a third of the way filling it up which is pretty cool back outside to the factory nope back inside to go sleepies very dark out there and now we go outside as the zombie burns yay to where I want to add some more details to really make this feel like a mine over here on the tram to animalia I built this little system that lights up every single time a minecart comes in and out of here and I absolutely love it so I think we can build two of them on the side of the mountain with the lime track and the orange track I think the orange track is going to start out coming right out here redstone lamp at the back and we just border the mud in like this now if we put a detector rail right down here we can bring a redstone line coming off that just needs to reach the redstone lamp if I can get the base stations in it'll be really easy to connect the rails as I want to send it in a full loop with a chest minecart just moving around so I think we can extend out of here and end maybe right here now on top of these to keep in with goblin style I'm thinking we just bring a little bit of mangrove for the roof and I guess the first one probably also needs a roof too I'm gonna have to dig around the back to see the quickest way to get through to here but for now we can branch ourselves out the front way and just start wrapping around the mountain
and that should connect us up maybe we curve this a touch more right here that'll do pretty good for the first rail line that just weaves its way around the edge of the mountain for the second i think we go more up here one final step here before we can throw in the rails is i want to dig a secret line going around the back so it looks like the minecart is looping and not just going back and forth and there we are i don't want this to be flying super quickly here so let's use mostly regular rails and only powered rails when we really need to keep it moving now if we give ourselves some extra power and we're looping around this way this entire section is downhill so i shouldn't need many powered rails if at all right let's make ourselves a minecart and put a chest on it then if we send this guy off that way quickly fly out here hopefully we can see it coming back around yes there it goes do the lights turn on is the question yes yes they do and there goes the second oh i love this a little bit more life and movement inside of our minecraft build let's do another one outer rail line is now in place for the second one which means it's time to dig through the mountain and hope i can find my way over oh there's a cave huh there's a chicken and there no there we go okay let's loop it back a touch now i just need to get rails going back the entire way where well, this is a bit of a longer one so let's throw in a few extra powered rails it might be a little steep here let's see that minecart is going away there so let's reverse this one and send it off oh there it goes inside and hopefully it makes it all the way back around yes there we go success both tracks are now in with both of these built out the environment just feels so much more alive or maybe is it dead from the factory i don't know but it it is moving it is it is moving and that's cool i don't know why but i keep running over to animalia and it's just so funny <laughs> seeing it from back here the contrast between the two is so good i love it before anybody freaks out saying oh my god you ruined lizzie's view of the mountain blah, blah, blah. we talked about it beforehand and she was uh very on board with building this and doing the project together and it being gobliny over there and animalia over here so you know what we already talked about it no need to be upset you'll never guess what the theme of today's episode is minecarts I know it's really surprising one thing lizzie and i are really lacking right now is sugarcane this is about all i can grow here in the cave seeing as that's less than three stacks that's really not gonna last too long for rockets oh the goats are going by hi lizzie doesn't have too much sugarcane either but our neighbor joel has a very good amount and also being in the sky he desperately out desperately needs more rockets i think if i bring a rail line about to like right here as a depot where hopefully we can convince joel to drop off a lot of sugarcane and send it over to the factory that could actually really help us with rocket production going all the way back to the rocket factory lizzie's working on over here so if we jump out somewhere on this side and just send it there i'm sure they won't mind minecarts moving everywhere throughout the world right with the location picked i started digging through the mountain for a new minecart tunnel to take over breaking into the goblin cavern though i built a new raised minecart track stretching horizontally horizontally across the cavern out of spruce with chains going up to the ceiling then slapping down all of the powered rails and regular rails for a minecart to quickly move back and forth between the empires where hopefully this will work to get the minecart moving I haven't finished it for now because well in full honesty I'm getting on a flight to go on vacation here in like two hours and I haven't packed so but let's get these trees out of the way and that should better reveal our sign and hopefully it'll work to actually you know get the minecart moving along the entire way once joel gets some sugarcane set up but for now where can i leave a note that joel will find this is supposed to be his house right or something so we'll just put the note here that says hello godman this is goblin i built a rail in hopes of getting sugarcane it'd be awkward if you don't want to work together since i already built this so ask him to join the animalia goblin alliance to produce rockets in for sugarcane he'll get gunpowder and rockets in return it'll be great and i could really use some sugarcane right now as these are my last rockets but thank you all so very much for watching today leave a like if you did enjoy subscribe if you're brand new and with that i'll catch y'all on the flip side one rocket to get back home nailed it bye